Hey guys, welcome to Tactrix Tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about how to edit your own image in Leonardo AI. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Leonardo AI is an advanced image editing tool that leverages a vast database of training data to enhance and transform images. Its unique capability lies in its understanding of image content, allowing it to intelligently apply edits that cater to the specific content of a picture. Leonardo provides different finds in models in here that would help you to create stunning photos using your own image as well. So for you to be able to get started onto this platform, you'll just need to search onto the Google web leonardo.ai or simply Leonardo and then click onto that and then you'll be redirected onto this website. Now the next step that you're gonna do for this is to create an account. To the website, you'll just simply click on to create an account in here and there is no credit card needed to create an account. So simply click onto that and note that you will need to be whitelisted to be able to sign in. So if you aren't on the early access list, you'll need to register below. You'll need to write in your first name in here and also your email address. And then right after, simply click on to count me in. So right after this step, you'll be redirected to another page wherein you'll be able to see some prompts. You'll just need to answer them. And then right after, you will get an email that you're already whitelisted. So once you get that email and once you're already whitelisted, you'll just need to click onto this yes, I'm whitelisted in Leonardo AI. Then right after, you should be redirected onto this login page in here, wherein it gives you an option to log in with Apple, Google, Microsoft, or you could log in with your email and password. And if you have any issues or you have forgotten something, just simply click on forgot your password and then right after click on to sign in. So personally myself, I usually use Google in here until logging in since this is easier on various website because it simplifies the authentication process. But it is still up to your own preference. Just choose which one do you like to use until logging in or signing up onto your Leonardo AI account. Now, right after logging in, you should be able to see Leonardo AI's dashboard. So once you're in, you'd be greeted with the featured models in here. With the features models in here like the photo reel dream shaper 3d animation style anime pixel dream and just click onto this arrow in here to browse onto the different models that they offer so if you scroll down below you'd be able to see the recent creation as well by other users and you have the search bar in here you can see you can filter by trending new top and you can also utilize this one in here and here on to upper left part, you'd be able to see the logo together with the tokens in here that you're going to be using to generate some images. But if you want more, just simply click on to upgrade in here so that you'd be able to see the different plans that Leonardo AI offers. So just scroll down below to see the plan details and subscribe that you're interested in. Now let's head back to the dashboard in here and onto this left side, here we'd be able to see some things that we could start the home, community feed, personal feed training, data sets, finds and models, some user tools and the settings and you could log out also in here. But what we're going to be needing to do in here is this training and data sets. So we'll just need to simply click onto that. So this is the backbone of its impressive capabilities. Through extensive training on a diverse range of images, Leonardo AI has gained an understanding of various visual elements in enabling it intelligently analyze and enhance picture. So this is what we're going to use in here so that we could train Leonardo AI to capture your own image. It encompasses a wide array of scenes, objects, and context, allowing these tools to adapt to different editing needs. So what you'll need to do in here to just simply click on to create new data set. So you could create your own data set now and start training it for incredible results. So simply click onto that. And you could create a data set name and a data set description. So let's write in here portrait. And you could add in here as well, my portrait. Then right after, just simply click on create data set to create it. Now right after, you should be redirected onto this page wherein you have the option to delete the data set. Also, you could update the name, the description that we have written earlier. And here is the part wherein you could drag and drop the files to upload or you could just simply click in here. So you could upload the images in here. So what we'll need to do in here is just simply locate the folder or files that we have simply saved onto your computer or your portraits. 
Now as you can see onto this folder, I have your four portraits of a girl which is smiling onto different poses so that we could use this one to train. So I actually got these photos from freepeak.com. So what we'll need to do is just simply drag these pictures in here and drop it in here so that we would be able to train these images. So this comprehensive training empowers Leonardo AI to make informed, context-aware adjustments resulting in stunningly refined images. So in essence, it is a comprehensive data a driven understanding to make precise and intelligent image edits even without in-depth editing expertise so as you can see we have simply added already the four images so you can add in up to 40 images for this then right after you're onto the lower part of the website if you scroll down you should be able to see platform images as well so you can also add these images you've generated or images from the community so just simply click onto them so that you could train them so what we'll need to do since we've added this already is simply click on the train model now right after you should be able to see the screen so this is like a quick preview with the model name so we have our portrait the training resolution you could choose so let's simply click onto that and you have here the category as well so we could try to choose in here photography or product design graphical elements or characters so let's just choose characters then right after you could also add in a description in here and base models so you could choose in this one and the instance prompt that you want to add in so let's try to fill this one out so we could just simply add in here using my own portrait and here you could add in my portrait then right after just simply click on to start training in here so as you can see training is already in progress and they will email you when it is already complete so this will depend on the size of your training job and server load it may take anywhere from 30 minutes to a few hours so we'll just need to wait for it and just click on to view job status so as you can see, it is still currently processing. We have here the model, the data set, instance prompt, category, the strength, and the base model. So I'll just need to wait for that. Now, right after, once as you can see in here that the status is done, what you'll need to do is to head on to the user's tool here onto the left side and click on AI image generation. Then you'll be redirected onto another page, which is AI image generation page. So what we're going to do right now is to add in a prompt. So we're going to use this prompt wherein we'll use portrait as an enchanting fairy creature frolicking in a magical forest, realistic, intricate details, bringing the mystical realm to life. So let's choose a fine-tuned model in here. What you're going to need to do is click onto this drop-down button and you should be able to see the different things that it offers. So what we'll need to do is click on select custom model and then right after, you should be able to see your models in here, favorite models, platform models, community models. So if you have created a lot of models already, you need to search it in here. You have the option to do that. Click onto the portrait that you have trained. So simply click onto that. And then right after, you should be able to see the instance prompt in here, the description, the training resolution, the category, the base model, and strength. And what you'll need to do is just click on to generate with this model. Now right after, you can see in here your fine-tuned model already, which is portrait. You could choose in here dynamic if you want it creative or anything. So we could try to add in here creative since we want to add in something like enchanting fairy creature. And for us to be able to enable this, they highly recommend incorporating this instance prompt within your prompt for better stylistic consistency with the data set this model was trained on so let's just gonna update this to use my portrait then what we're gonna need to do is generate this with the use of a tokens and let's wait onto its result now as you can see here are the photos that it generated so as you have noticed the one that we have put in or trained in is a curly haired girl so it, it has generated a curly haired girl in here let's view on the next photo also this one a curly haired so we could try to update the instance prompt that we have put in, in there or the prompt so that we could customize it further as per your liking or so that you could achieve what you want to see onto your photo. We have the option in here to delete the image as well, download it, copy it to clipboard and zoom and also remove the background. So let's try to save this to image and let's try out another prompt for this specific model. Now as you can see using the trained image the trained model that we have here are the photos that it generated so still a curly woman so this one does not resemble that much within the model that we've trained so onto the other photo we have another woman on a warrior outfit so what you could do in here is just try to customize the different things in here such as this guidance scale so we could try to remove this one so that we could try to check for another things that it will generate now we could also add in some negative prompts and let's try to see what it will give us. 
now I've gone ahead and updated the prompts in here. So I tried to write in my portrait, warrior woman striking a confident pose on a majestic mountaintop. So as you can see, here are the photos that it generated. So it actually is onto a mountaintop, but however, it doesn't look like more of a warrior. But here onto the other photo, we have her a warrior style like onto a mountaintop. However, it has some certain errors in here like on its lips and there is another person as well. So what you'll just need to do is just really try to regenerate and regenerate until you achieve something that you want to see onto your photo. So let's try something out again until we're satisfied. Now, right after I accomplished regeneration, so I have gone ahead and write in this prompt. Fears were a woman battling with magical powers in a mystical forest, fantasy art sticker, 3D vector art, cute vector art, soft lighting, enchanting, powerful, ethereal style. So I've still using our portrait in here or our fine tune model. And as you can see, here are the photos that I've come up with. So. I'm quite satisfied with this one because it really looks like a battling woman and it also resembles the one that we have onto our trained model. So let's try to download this one out and let's take a look also onto the other photo that it generated. So this is the other photo that it generated so it still has the resemblance since it has, since it has the curly hair and it also looks like a very fierce woman battling. And there you have it. Now you've learned how to edit your own image using Leonardo AI's training and datasets. And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and if you have any question, just comment it down below. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, we'll see you onto our next video.